Okay, hello everybody. I'd like to welcome you to Back to School Night, or at least our version of Back to School Night. Uh, I'm Mr. Price, and this presentation is for ninth grade American studies. Um, I would certainly much rather be talking to you guys all face to face, but I'll do my best to share a few things about the course, and I also want to make sure that you understood that anytime you need to call, talk, um, give the school call, I will call you back. Um, we can also correspond through email as well. So again, I'm Mr. Price. This is Ninth Grade American Studies. I want to talk a little bit about the class. I'm going to keep the Google Meet window up, and then I'll pull up a couple things. One is the a couple of the things that I want to cover tonight, and also the course syllabus. So this is sort of my welcome page. Um, and uh, again, thanks a lot for showing up and uh, checking out the video. Um, I'll take you through the syllabus probably talk a little bit about resources, some reminders about the Schoology page, talk a little bit about reading, writing, speaking, and critical thinking that's part of the course, um, tests and test taking, kind of how that works, options, things like that, and then trivia and extra credit if we have time at the end. So what I'm going to do, I'll pull up, this is the course syllabus for ninth grade American studies. So. Um, this is uh, American Studies. We pick it up around 1900, um, our first chapter, and I'll talk about that. Picks it up generally around 1900, and we try to get as close to present day as we can. Um, you know, I've been teaching here for over 30 years now. That's three more decades that I'm responsible for teaching both foreign and domestic affairs, which probably corresponds to five or six more chapters than we had to do before. Um, anyway, some of the things we'll try to do is to emphasize basic skills. Your son and daughter or daughter is going to get better at reading, writing, speaking, critical thinking. I'm a firm believer that um, in ninth grade, uh, a good course in American history not only appeals to students with the kinds of activities that you do, but also um, engages them in a lot of skill work as well. I'm going to try to make every attempt to connect history to the present day and to make he history meaningful to that. So as we study different things in history, I'm going to make connections to current events. We're going to talk about current events. Um, for instance, if we're studying something about war, we'll, we'll talk about Afghanistan and, and draw parallels and also differences as well. So you know your sons and daughters will get a decent amount of current events along the way. Um, we also cover economics. So they will get a basic understanding of economics. Uh, politics and government, and also like society, social issues as well. So the, we do like formally study those. So they will learn some vocab and some background that should set them up well for their economics and political science course for next year, um, and also um, world cultures, those kinds of things as well. So um, roughly about 40% of their class grade is based upon tests and quizzes. Mostly chapter tests that they do at the end of the chapter. Sometimes I'll split a chapter into two different quizzes. Some chapters, who want, especially as we get closer to the end of the year, might not be um, ones that we'll test at all. That number's probably a little bit high. One of the things you'll note if you've checked Schoology or Power School is that the students do get a lot of grades. I think they must have maybe 20 to 25 grades already this marking period. So there's a lot of space outside tests and quizzes to show skill work, uh, content understanding, and those kinds of things. Um, so we will do also reading and critical thinking, which will be normally individual assessments. So it's my way of to seeing if they're getting better with reading, building social studies vocabulary, um, their ability to critical think. And I'll talk about that a little bit later with you. Essays and writing assignments, we will do some critical um, thinking essays where they would use documents. Sometimes we call them document-based essays. The first one they're going to write coming up pretty soon is an essay about why prohibition failed. And there will be a number of primary source and some secondary source documents that they will look at uh, to help them write that. They'll do at least one other document-based question. Um, there's ones on the Cold War, civil rights movements, and usually I vary them. I haven't really decided for this class which one I'm going to use yet, but that one will come closer to the end of the year and will be their final 
project, which we'll talk about in a little bit here as well. Debates, projects, posters, other kinds of projects, about 10% and homework checks about 10 percent although I've probably done less homework checks um, in the last couple of years so that grade actually falls probably below that 10 percent there. Final exam grade they have 40 percent for both marking periods and that would be 80 percent and then 20 percent of the final exam grade is half the final exam that they all take in ninth grade and the other half would be that document based essay that they'll write um, and usually students do pretty well on that. They do do a rough draft and a final copy, so there is the ability to get a better grade on that. You know, I gave some class responsibilities. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. It, one of the things I do want to really emphasize is the importance of doing the study guides. And for every chapter, they have a study guide that they have to do. Um, a lot of times we'll work on it in class for a little bit and then maybe finish it up at home. Maybe that's their homework assignment. And that's the, the hardcore content that they have to know. I tell them we do the content really three times. They read about it and they ans answer questions based upon their chapter readings. We talk about it in class and they do activities that emphasize uh, them they could be posters or videos or writings or political cartoons that reinforce and back those things up. Uh, I oftentimes tell them, and I'm going to tell you as well, that if they know the things that are on the study guide and the review sheet, they should be in really good shape. And I do spend time reviewing. We normally do a game of Kahoot. We do some games of Pictionary. We do some practice matching questions. And there's also usually an online Quizlet that has all the terms and the people that they have to know for the test. So anytime you want, you should be able to say, well, what chapter are you on? Pull out your study guide. Um, how far are you? and kind of go over those questions with them. If they did a good job with the study guide, all the answers to the review sheet are in the study guide. Now, I'll oftentimes say before the chapter test is take a highlighter and, and highlight those terms and those ideas that they have to do. So again, the review sheet and the study guide packets for every chapter is something that's extremely important and it basically is the foundation of the content for the class. A um, couple things about the Schoology page. I think most of you are signed up and have access to that. Normally what I'll do is I will put uh, a lesson plan for that day and then following that lesson plan for the day will be like the links or the different activities that they need um, to do in class. Um, periodically in the course of the semester I'll go back and purge some of the old lesson plans but I will keep all the activities and all the links will be active that if there's any back work that they have to do that they can go back and complete them. Um, I don't give zeros for, for late work. At any point they can do an assignment. Um, obviously sometimes it doesn't help as much on tests when you're doing them after the test was over but I give full credit for back work that is completed so if you see a zero, that just means, hey, this is what your grade looks like um, if you're not going to complete and do that work. But um, students can do reasonably well, even if they're not great on tests, uh, by do completing all the work along the way. So that's kind of the Schoology page. Again, look for the Quizlet items. Um, usually the review sheets are posted as well, and they're just listed in a string, and you can find them pretty easily under the individual lesson plans for the day. Um, let's see what else here. Yeah, they have to read pretty much. They have to write pretty much. They're going to get uh, a number of opportunities to speak and lots of emphasis on critical thinking. We read a number of primary sources, which are first-hand accounts. We spend a lot of time talking about point of view and inferences and bias and things like that in the readings that they do. That includes both primary sources and nonfiction resources as well. Um, and most of those resources, both primary and nonfiction, are either in print that they get or it's also on Schoology sometimes. And you'll see a number of those and you can always check those out. Uh, let's see, I think maybe that's about it. We mentioned a little bit about uh, the writing. 
there will be some expository writing. Sometimes they'll do a paragraph. Sometimes the writing will be on a, on a test. Sometimes they have essay parts of the test that they have to do. We've had one so far in our chapter six test. Um, and, and even some creative writing. We'll do some on like the Great Depression and a couple other topics throughout the year. Uh, love to use political cartoons as a way to review content. They're also kind of interesting and they have to work with like symbols and point of view again, um, which I think is pretty important. Um, again, tests come at the end of the chapter that we do. Currently, we have done chapter five, which is the progressive era. We did that in two quizzes. We did chapter six, which was about imperialism with the United States and the world. And we just had our World War I test, and we are into the 1920s. So, again, my recommendation for tests is practice, practice, practice with the review sheet, with the Quizlet. Um, and I tell them, too, things are a little bit different this year. I know COVID probably reduced teachers' expectations a little bit for content leading to this point. And ninth grade American studies is a bit of a jump for some kids as it is. It, it is a real eye-opener for some. Um, and it, it depends a little bit on like who they had and, and, and that sort of thing. But ninth grade, they, they have to put some things together. And I tell them it's no longer to get a 10-term review sheet where you just have to quick memorize those 10 terms and you do well. Um, it's tough to just memorize things. We're looking for understanding and being able to use some of the content as well. Um, they oftentimes get trivia questions they could bring in for extra credit. They are also able to do extra credit work throughout the semester. And we talk about like news articles um, and they can do mini write-ups and we've talked about that. You can ask your kids about like how they do that. And I have many kids that really take advantage of the trivia and the current events write-ups as well. Um, I think that's about it. Um, just a quick reminder, and I already closed up my syllabus window, but so uh, after chapter seven, content-wise, we get to chapter eight, which we're working on with the 1920s. Then we move to the Great Depression, um, World War II, post-war period. By the time we get to that time, we'll, we will do one chapter on the Cold War, and then we pick and choose some topics the rest of the way. So the modern history, we're in a little bit more of... Um, a tough go to far as far as covering what we need to cover so I usually pick and choose some of the more important things things that they have to know for the final exam and usually I, I to be honest if I can get up and through Reagan um, I feel pretty good about that but they will also hopefully get a little bit more than just that so I, I do want to reiterate again if you have any questions please do not hesitate to give a call give an email touch base and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, a good semester both my ninth grade American studies my second block and my fourth block really enjoying them so far um, a lot of real sharp kids in both classes and also some kids that, that struggle um, and, and I'm going to be maybe contacting some parents a little bit about especially about test scores it, it hasn't been so much about not doing the work but working on tests so hey um, thanks again for joining tonight I hope you have a great night and take care and again reach out if you need to and I'll try to keep in contact with you as well thank you take care bye-bye